Hi P's and G's, uh, we're recording this on Thursday morning uh, and later today the First Minister is going to be announcing about the different tiers uh, to do with COVID-19 and it looks likely that Edinburgh is going to be in tier three. That basically means no change from where we are just now. Uh, during the tiers, tiers 0, 1, 2 and 3, there are no real changes for churches and places of worship. We're still allowed to have 50 people uh, in the building at any one time. It's only if we go into tier 4 where the numbers will go down to 20 and that really will uh, leave a doubt over whether it's viable to do a physical gathering. Um, and then in tier 5, which is the complete lockdown when we wouldn't be allowed to meet. Just very conscious that it is now eight months since we went down into lockdown and uh, that it's getting harder for people uh, and I've had numerous conversations even this week with people who are just finding it more and more difficult. So we just wanted to take the opportunity to say that over the next few weeks in our physical gatherings and our online services we're going to be looking at some passages from the letter to the Hebrews which just encourage people to dig deep. This is a time for digging deeper. Uh, perhaps like me, you watched those thousands of people do that virtual London marathon all around the UK. Uh, there was one person who decided to go up Snowdon, I think, uh, wearing a complete diving suit and it took him days to do it. Um, but one of the people who they interviewed who was doing the London marathon virtually, who'd done it in real life in London before, said that it was so much harder because of one factor that was missing. And that one factor that was missing was the crowd. When you do a marathon, apparently, I've never done one, but when you do a marathon, one of the things that drives you on is the crowd. You get to that certain point and you hit the wall and it's the people who are lining the roadside who encourage you to keep on going. So we just want to encourage each other to keep on going. In Hebrews, it speaks about being surrounded by a cloud of witnesses. We've got the whole of church in eternity cheering us on. But we need people with skin on. So maybe you want to sign up for one of our physical gatherings. Uh, there are now uh, children's groups that are happening during the four o'clock service. Uh, the youth groups are meeting during the four o'clock and the six o'clock physical gatherings. And then for the children themselves, there are now three groups running at 11 o'clock on a Sunday morning. Maybe you want to come on a Wednesday night when we're every fortnight, we're having a communion service. But we just want to really encourage you not just to continue to meet with your connect group, not just perhaps to sign up for the Alpha course or uh, get a mentor uh, through the mentoring scheme, maybe get a spiritual director, but just to re-engage with our online services and our physical gatherings because we recognise that it's getting harder. The nights are getting longer, the days are getting shorter and darker, and we need to dig deep. So I just pray that as we go into this next sprint of this marathon that is now going to last for, well, at least and again, the next eight or nine months, that you will help each other and help yourself to dig deep with God and that you might know that cloud of witnesses cheering you on as we move towards the finishing line.